What is going on guys? Welcome back for another episode of Chronicle of Empires. Yes. All right, so we're slowly growing here. We just hit City Hall level 7 and I'll be going City Hall level 8 at some point, hopefully. All right, but it's not a rush. I want to make sure I take care of resource-wise all of my low-level necessities, meaning my resources. So you definitely want to make sure you have you guys have resources when you're going through everything like that. And also you want to make sure you guys subscribe to the Swill Entertainment channel and also Spool Gaming Plus channels. All right, so respectively, of course, make sure you get get all that gaming content out of your systems, guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get some of these things leveled up here, these little nodes. Been working on that. Definitely make sure you guys have the the, uh, the food, the wood, the stone, and the gold, okay? But we don't have gold yet. We haven't made it that far. But at some point, we will get there. All right, so we're working on that ASAP Rocky. All right, so a lot of people are saying, oh, my God, it's a cool. Who cares if it's a clone? It's a great game. Now, the only thing that I see different between the two is the heroes. Heroes are a little bit different, and that's about it. Layout inside the base, pretty much the same thing, except for the doorways. Other than that, I said that in a, in a previous episode, and that's pretty much it. Um, but other than that, it's a great game. I have no problems playing it. It could be a clone all at once. It just means that I am very much um, accustomed with, to what to do. Okay, so all we're doing right now is still cooking up some of our Tier 1 troops. All right, so we're getting to get that. Oh, I got to go do research so I can start doing tier two. Oops. All right, guys, so we're going to start training some swordsmen after we get this academy up to level eight. All right, so that's what I need to start doing, getting that to eight. So City Hall needs to go to eight. Oh, we can't do any of this stuff. All right, that's fine. That's fine, guys. That is fine. All right, so in the meantime, so I can start getting these things back to back, I'll start going to the um owl arrow so i can get the archers and then i get the lancers and then i can get the siege onager as well all right so one thing that i noticed that you can do in rise of kingdoms is you don't just necessarily train train the sieges or the high level ones you just train the low level ones and that sufficiently takes care of you and it, it i don't know it worked you know because what happens is i guess they take a lot of troop space i don't know what it is but that's one um thing that somebody gave me some uh some good information and advice on that so i did that in rise of kingdoms and it worked out Pretty nicely. The only problem with Rise of Kingdom is I'm on a server that just it was busting like big time, and then all of a sudden that server just died. And I started the game at least maybe six times, and I just didn't want to do it again, so that's why I didn't do it. Okay, so that's pretty much what went on with that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get these two little things leveled up, and then hopefully we can get our at some time before I go to bed. I think I'm gonna be getting the city hall leveled up because I gotta get the wall and the stables. Once I get the wall and the stables leveled up then we're good to go. All right, so make sure you guys, and also, you guys are recruiting. Go into your wishing pool. Doing your free ones as much as you possibly can go. You wanna make sure you get that done. All right, we got Sack. All right, so always wanna level these, these uh, heroes up as much as you can. You may get lucky and get somebody you were looking for. All right, so that's that one. That's that one. Beowulf. We're getting a lot of Beowulfs. Another sack. I don't care. I'll take these guys all forever. I don't mind. All right. And then once you get that, you're going to go ahead and do your gold ones. So we get here. Cross your fingers, guys. Oh, that's it. Experience. Golly. All right. And then we got the big daddy one here. We got the one that we can do 100 coins. So we're going to go. Hopefully we can get something for this for 100 coins. Oh, oh, oh. King Arthur. First epic. So he's a defender, infantry, and siege. All right, so you guys can read all through the whole entire thing as far as the description goes, however you want to do it. All right, so then let me see. You got leader of the Knights of the Round Table. He's an epic, like I said, defender, infantry, siege. So that's good. Finally getting some more stuff. That's all we got? <laughs> what? Oh, so we got to get 20 more golden or whatever these ones are. 20 more of the, it doesn't say what it's called. I guess that's a hero golden coin. That's cool. We'll take them. We'll take them. All right, so I'm not sure if we can summon them yet. Oh, we can. We got them. Nice. All right, so we got King Arthur, man. First, or actually second. Second epic. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Eleanor. All right, so there we go. All right, so I definitely want to make sure I can get this guy leveled up. Now, when we have King Arthur, we got wise and blessed officials um active skill requires battle rage thousand which see reduces damage to the unit l uh, led by seven percent for the next five seconds 
For the extra effect, you got significantly increases rebound damage. All right, recent skill 10 to unlock the extra effect. So we got to get skill uh, skill 10. So it's going to be a long time before we get this, guys. We can go ahead and get some skills up now. So we're going to go ahead and get that skill 2. All right, so we're okay with this. Now, we can always exchange hero shards, but I kind of want to wait a little bit before I do this, and then we can level up our guys. I want to make sure I get the right heroes. I want to get some more heroes. I want to make sure I can get a legendary one, too. I think these are legendary. So... Once we get that, I can definitely think about what I want to do. Because there's only five more we don't have. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, five. We got five, and we got five more to get for now. And I'm sure when there's ex um, expansions and updates in the game, we're going to be able to get some more unlocked as well. So that's always going to be a good thing. All right, so I'm just always constantly trying to knock out these quests. And the reason I want to get these quests knocked out is because I want to get these dailies completed. And once you get the dailies completed, you get your gold wish coins. Okay? So that's nothing out of the ordinary for you guys to do. If you guys are stuck just read through and see what you got to do i always scroll to the bottom first because if you always just do the ones on the top you're never going to scroll to the bottom it's just never going to happen because everything keeps on piling up from what i could tell all right so we got shopaholic so purchase two items in the post house so we're going to go ahead and knock out that real quick if we can um let's see and we'll travel from time from castles in the kingdom and we can purchase a lot of low price items from her all right so we're going to go ahead and knock that out all right, so we can spend we can spend wood to get some stone. We can spend food to get some wood. We can spend some food to get some stone. We can spend some gems to get some wood. I don't want to do that. Okay, so we can use food for speed ups. Speed ups are always good. We just need to get two items, guys. Now, what I would recommend doing, if you can get it, um, you can get the I guess these little um, these boosters, the ones that are either twenty four hours or the eight hour ones. If you can afford it, go for it. Like, honestly, I wouldn't spend gems, though. If you want to spend gems, you got to like that, go for it. But honestly, I would say go ahead and do these ones right here because they're going to give you more resources in the long run. It's going to be it's going to be beneficial to you. What is this? Puzzle pieces. Exclusive shard that can be exchanged for elite hero you've owned. Okay, that's kind of cool there. And then this is going to be a teleport. Yep, target teleport for 400. Yeah. So I bought my two items right there. And let's just rotate through here real quick, refresh, and see what we can get also. All right, so we can use the food. And we can use this one right here. We're going to have 300,000, which kind of sucks. So we can get gold. We don't need it right now. We do need gold, but we don't have it right now. So it's kind of pointless to get that, get something that we don't need yet. So I'll just hold off on that a little bit. And then... We're not going to refresh for any gems. So we completed that one part there, right there for the daily quest. So we got that one done. And like I always tell you guys, I, I scroll down to the bottom so I can make sure I get everything. Um, it says use 10 experience books. So we'll do that for our hero. And I don't, I don't so much want to level her up. I do, but I don't. I kind of want to go with the, uh, the lower level guys a little bit. But you want to pick your heroes. You want to don't just level every one of them at the same time. You want to pick the one you're going to use all the time. So I, I, I put myself to do Alexander Nevsky. That's the one I want to use, but for some reason, it's pushing me to do um, Beowulf because he has five stars. Five stars and five skill, um, level five skills. Okay, so let's see if we can level him up or skills. Now he's level six. And like I said, we can always exchange our, our shards, but we're not going to do that yet. Like I said, I want to wait a little bit until I can unlock some more of these, these heroes because I think that's going to be a much beneficial thing for me in the long run. It's kind of pointless to just, you know, go for the gusto and, you know, go balls to the wall. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait a little bit. Sakawena, she's good because we do need some resources. So we want to make sure we can level her up a little bit as well. She's not epic, but that's the only part that sucks about her, is that she's not epic. But it's okay. We do have her skills. And like I said, we'll be doing a video where we can just deep dive in each one of these heroes. Because I'm still trying to learn the game because the game just came out and it's not a lot of information out there. Not a lot of videos out there. I mean, you can kind of look at the Rise of Kingdom videos, but they're kind of different and they're kind of same at the same time. So we got to kind of be kind of, you know, mindful to that. All right. So you definitely want to make sure you get this at least substantial damage target, blah, blah, blah. Raise defense power, troops led by 1.2%. All right. That's fine. As long as I get rid of the little arrows for all the heroes, we're good. All right. And I also want to make sure you take care of your alliance, guys. Do your, your tech. I'm probably going to run out. Nope. We'll make it, I think. Yep. We should have enough. Because all I'm going to do next after this is just start doing some farming. And that's about it. Territory is good. Alliance gift. Let's go ahead and claim this stuff. 
but I know these games are very, very, very generous for giving you um, resources. I just wish they would come up with the classes, the cl or the uh, the cities. The uh, yeah. So I'm sure that that update should be coming out shortly. I'm sure. I don't know, but I, I would think, would highly imagine it would be. All right, let's go ahead and level these little farms up. So it's going to be a little bit easier in the long run to get some resources. And what else do we have to do here? We got to do our quest, great city, query. I'd rather do the the dailies. Because you can always do the quest. This is all, all the stuff you're doing, like upgrade the archers, recruiting talents, make 20 wishes of gold coins. We're going to get that anyway. As soon as we get some more gold coins. So I want to make sure I get this done so I can get this gold coin um, extra. Oh, so 10 spear um, books. I don't think we can use it on this guy. See? They always push me to Beowulf. He's the most in power right now. Now if we want to do rarity. There we go. Let's see if we can get this guy. I need level 8 to get any, anyone leveled up. Can't do anything else, guys. We're kind of kind of messed up a little bit. So we can use 10. Or have to use 10. And I do want to get this epic hero up because he is the best. Well, I'm not going to say he's the best. I don't really know. I haven't used him yet. Now, we can evolve him. It's going to cost us 50 of these little shards here. But I kind of don't want to use them either. But you know what? It's all good. But his, his skill is righteousness. Um... It's a passive skill when attack or when attack King Arthur has 10% probability of increasing the attack power of units he leads by 30% in the next one seconds, triggering up to one time every five seconds. When King Arthur leads less than 40% of his troops, being attacked has 10% probability of additional healing to restore a portion of lightly wounded units. That's kind of good if you're in the in the thick of battle there. Alright, so we want to I'll do this. I'll do this evolve. Because, I, I mean, I look at the clan and they, they tell me it doesn't matter. It's all good. You can go ahead and do that. Because Rise of the Kingdom, you have to be careful or you just screwed up your whole entire deal. This one's not so much. I'm going to use that. I don't care if it's extra. That's fine. He's level 14. He's good to go. All right. So then also he has some skills as well. He's got defense, infantry, and siege. I don't know which way I want to go. Defense seems like the good, the good route when the hero leads an army. So you want to have some defense too because you don't want him to get like whatever. But I want to take care of my infantry. I want to take care of my siege. He's like the all-around guy. So infantry attack. And then it's got infantry health. And then the three skills got infantry attack. Inf uh, hero attack 2%. And then you got infantry defense. I'm going to go with the infantry for now. I'm going to just do it. Why not? I'm sure I can always figure out a way to re-roll um, re my guy. But I want to make sure I have some defense. It's not all about the offense, guys. Because you have your, your archers, guys, for the offense. But you want to make sure you guys can do some damage. That's the most part right there. But, you know, defense wins battles, guys. And I kind of want to take this guy out for a spin here. Let's go ahead and let him see what's going on with this guy right here. Let's go. And I think we're up to, like, level 7. But we're going to fight at level 6. All right, so create a troop. It always goes to deep, um, Beowulf. Now, this don't, I want to make a, a, a march thing. So you can kind of like look at the battle here, kind of scrolling a little bit. Look at what's going on. All right, so there we go. Um, can't really see. I'm just looking at it like this. So I can see the actual the bar there, so I can see how much damage we're taking, as opposed to the damage that they're taking. So right now we're okay. So because I think what is going on right now, he's actually healing a little bit, not much, but he's healing a little bit, healing the wounded troops. But I think it has to go down to forty percent, because I think his 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 energy bar was a little bit lower than that. But yeah, the enemy is about to die, so that's cool. He's level six. He's in somebody else's territory, but it's all good. I don't worry about fighting in someone else's territory. I don't care. Let's go heal it real fast. I think I could probably take a level 7, but I don't know. The way this is going, it looks like I could. I kind of want to see. I'm sure you guys want to see as well. Let's go check out this level 7 here. Just kind of curious. It says we can. Come on, King Arthur. So wait a minute. These guys are like real close to ours. I guess we moved. Oh, shoot. We did move. Oh, I'm, a, I'm close to this other territory. I'm going to have to move to my, my alliance, guys. 
didn't realize they moved, so I'm going to move later on because I'm going to be in their territory. And luckily I have a shield right now for another couple days or so. Or these guys will definitely attack me. I'm trying to figure out why. We had all that stuff going on. All right, good. We got the coin here. Removing the danger. And we can keep on going. So all we're going to do is just start doing some farming, and that's about it. All right, so let's go back to our attack here. Oh, wow. Wow, will we? Wow, this is an even battle right now, guys. So definitely we're going to get down to 40%, and we're going to see if this healing... Okay, I see healing right there, plus 93. So it's a little bit of healing going on. A little bit. All units attack increase. Oh, wow. It's an even match, though, guys. It's even. It's so even, it's not even funny. We're going to win. But it's going to be a super close match. We're going to lose a lot of troops. But it's all good. Ooh-wee, King Arthur. Ooh-wee. Please let me win. I don't want this to be an even match. There's more healing right there going on. And come on. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. We got the victory. I think it... Make sure. Yes. I said we got level 7. I don't think it's worth fighting level sevens right now for me because it takes that long. And we, we end up losing more troops than it's worth as far as like resources and everything goes. It's not really worth it right now until we get a couple more different um, upgrading things going on here. So I want to upgrade this farm here and get this thing going. And definitely want to get the hospital so I can get that um, the space increased there. All right, but either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope this was enjoyable to you. Make sure you guys check out one of these other videos. Maybe they might help you out as well. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.